Morning, Stall Nation. Welcome. It is Monday morning, and what we do on Mondays is we go through my week in numbers, what's been good, what's been bad, uh, and for all four sites. Yeah, four sites. Um, last week, it was a dreadful start. Monday, one reservation, no move-ins. Tuesday, one reservation, no move-ins. I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. Wednesday, two reservations. So by Thursday morning, on Thursday morning, we only had four reservations in the bag. I was like, oh, this is going to be the worst week ever. What's going on? And I went into battle stations, like texting the team saying, listen, have we changed anything? Are we doing anything wrong? Are we still doing the follow-up? What's happening? And I got answers back saying, yes, we're doing everything right, Dean. The problem is we've only been able to contact half of people. I'm like, yeah, but that's normal. So or, or, is, have we got more competition? What's going on? Are we still getting the quotes? And I was, and I, was, I can't lie. I was like panicking, thinking something's gone wrong somewhere. Anyway, Thursday, good day. Friday, good day. Saturday, good day. Sunday, two reservations. And it turns out that this week we did 26 reservations. So it's better than average. And it just goes to show that I say it to everybody all the time. You cannot, cannot look at this industry on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to make, make decisions based on long-term, long-term, not short-term. And I say it to everybody, but I'm emotionally connected in this business. And so... Obviously, if it was somebody else, if somebody came to me and said, look, we've had a really bad start to the week, the first three days, only four reservations. I'd be like, hey, that's three days. Do not panic. It will turn around. Because as long as you get into quotes, your conversion will hit your average convert. It just, it has to. It's like night full as day. You do the correct things, the small things correct, then you will start getting results. As long as you get into quotes in, as long as that lever is pulled up on your advertising, on your marketing, whatever it is, as long as you're getting the quotes in, you will eventually get the reservations and the move-ins. And I just need to, sometimes the best advice is the advice, the advice you need to hear is the advice that you give other people. And it's hard because sometimes you're in the battlefield, you're in, you're in there and you don't really see the woods for the trees. You don't really see the way out. It's like a maze. And so sometimes when you step back from our business and take an aerial view, an aerial snapshot, and that's when we make the best decisions. Right, so let's run through last week's um, reservations, the quotes, etc., cetera, and uh, what actually happened. Because like I say, it was a dreadful start to the week, but 26 reservations, I'm over the moon. 26 reservations is brilliant. And it was shared out by all four sites as well. And by the way, today marks the start of Mansfield. Mansfield Shop Fit starts today, which is beautiful. Right. Amount of quotes. There's 41 quotes uh, last week for Willoughby. This is just Willoughby. So we're going to start with Willoughby. 16 reservations. 16 reservations from 41 quotes. That is incredible. 39% conversion rate. Like I say, as long as you're doing, asking the right questions in your sales process is correct, then you should be hitting between 25 and 30% conversion rates on, you, you will do, as long as you're doing the small things right, as long as you're asking the right questions, the, the five simple questions for self-storage, as long as you're selling it right, as long as your salespeople care, you will be hitting between 25 and 30%. And I know the American listener will be going like, 30%, well, my strike rate's higher. Yeah, but it's a little bit different here because yes, in America, your strike rate will be 75%, et cetera, because you're showing your prices online. So the, the, the two biggest hurdles that we've got to overcome, first of all, is your location, where are you, whereabouts are you, and then also your price. And so once somebody has contacted you in America, they already know your location, you already know your price. And so you've got really no hurdles to overcome. So you should be having a 75%, 80% conversion rate. There shouldn't be no any reason why not. In England, when we're not displaying the prices, then that is that is where then obviously we've got to overcome them hurdles. We've got to overcome them challenges and saying, yep, the price is this. And here's obviously the location. This should know the location sometimes. All right. Um, so 41 quotes, conversion rate of 39%, really, really good. Um, let's have a look. Move-ins. We had seven move-ins. So the move-ins wasn't particularly good. So that is somewhere where we need to improve this week because seven movings, yeah, it isn't awesome. Um, that's conversion rate of 17%. Hopefully this week is going to be better. So we moved in 635 square foot and we moved out 1160. So it was down at Willoughby 525. So not a great week in terms of square footage, um, but this next week is going to be better. Eight movings, 13 move outs. So 
335 internal units occupied. We had four containers out and one moving. So that means we've got 44 containers occupied, 77% occupancy um, at the minute at Willoughby. But we are coming off. What is, again, what I've been spouting and what is happening in America, Occup and all the results are exactly the same. Occupancy is down, but revenue is up. Last month, we had our highest revenue month of all times, which is incredible when you consider how well we're doing during COVID. We beat it last month. It was beautiful. And I'll, I'll do some monthly figures for July on Wednesday and Thursday, and maybe on Friday. I'll get maybe oh, Wednesday and Friday. Um, so I'll do the um, I'll do the monthly figures as well, just so I can show you exactly where we was uh, last month. I'll probably do that for Wednesday. Do it on all four sites. So that that is really good. Yeah, fantastic. The fact that it's okay. Occupancy is down, but revenues up. So. We're okay. We're, we, we're on a very, very good stretch at the minute, which is awesome to see. Uh, that's because of revenue management. Correct revenue management is in, in place. And we're just increasing the prices at Wrexham as well. Uh, I'll probably do a full new podcast about that um, on another time. Exactly the strategy behind it, why I'm doing it, what I'm doing it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 see what see what out what the outcome is. But ultimately, it should add another £1,000 to the bottom line. So that means that since we took an over, taken over, we'll have increased revenue by £20,000 because we're in, 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 we've introduced insurance. And then the price increase as well should be at least another £1,000. And so, yeah, we're, we're going to take this business that was making next to nothing. We're going to turn around in the first year, well, from here on in, and it's going to be making like 50 grand a year, which on the face of it isn't massive but it's not bad for a business that we bought. It's just showing us um, how to do it. It's it's, it's basically um, a blueprint. It was like dipping your toes in the water. Can I can I buy um, a self-storage that's underperforming and can we turn it around? And hopefully, I don't know the answer yet, but hopefully, yes, we plug it into our systems and our procedures and we straight away increased it from next to nothing to making, you know, 50, 80,000 pound. So, um, yeah, it will have increased it by 50, 50 grand a year anyway. So, which is really, really good considering we bought it for, I think it was 90,000, but we didn't pay for everything up front. It's over a number of years we're paying for it. So, yeah, it looks as though this could be the way forward for us to buy more self-storages. And they don't have to be um, not run well, that we'll buy underperforming ones and we'll buy performing ones. You know, I just feel like that we can plug it in and it's going to be a great, I don't know. I think I'm really excited about it. So if anybody wants to sell a self-storage, hit me up, deanbooty at iCloud.com. I would happily come over and uh, we can discuss money, etc. Right. So 77% occupancy. Weekly average sales per moving was £22. So that's not great. However, the insurance was good. The insurance was an average £6,571 on average per moving. This next week, we've got eight movings due for 685 square foot. And we've got five move outs due for 225 square foot. So we should we should be in theory. It's saying that we should be up around about 400 square foot there. Um, but I always add another 500 on. So it could even be a thousand square foot month for us. Uh, sorry, week, a net thousand. So we'll see. Uh, let's have a look. Clough Road. Let's go to Clough Road next. 28 quarters at Clough Road. We did six reservations. So conversions are a little bit lower there. 21.43% conversion rate. We had three move-ins. So not massive. Again, 11% conversion from quotes to move in. So not great there. We can improve there. We moved in 325 square foot. We moved out 375. So we're down 50. The insurance was an average of £5,333 uh, per move-in. Last, the move-ins due this week is five move-ins for 400 square foot. And we've got one move-out due for... Uh, 25 square foot. So again, it should be a really, really good month. Let's have a look at the store platform and to tell you exactly where we are. Gross revenue, 14,918. Uh, that means it's an increase of 5% from this time last month because uh, it was £14,184 at this point. The monthly reoccurring revenue is at 32000 Again, that's increased by 5%. The occupancy is increasing as well, 71.48%. So that's increased by 3.29%. The rate per square foot is £23.48 at the minute, uh, was £24. We want to get that really to over 25. That's the that's the idea at the minute, but we're going to work on revenue management. Uh, we're already working on it. We're already doing all right. Do you remember when we, 
a few months ago, it was at 16, 17 pounds. I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. Um, but then we, yeah, we've, we've turned, we've turned and notched up a little bit on revenue management. By the way, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to mrselfstories.com, put in your email address and I'll send you some groovy emails. Yes, I said groovy. Uh, emails every single day from Monday to Friday. And so far we're having, yeah, people seem to be loving them. We've got a massive, massive open rate. I think the average open rate is like 18 to 22% and we're hitting over 60%, which is incredible for a daily newsletter. So thank you very much, everybody. Right, let's have a... Do you know what? I'm going to go to Wrexham next because... I, I'm really happy with Wrexham. I just like it. Uh, let's have a look. Wrexham, Wrexham, Wrexham figures. There we go. Right, quotes. We've had 12 quotes at Wrexham. So not massive quotes, but we've had three reservations. So that's 25% conversion rate. Move-ins, we've had two move-ins. So that's a 17% conversion rate. We moved in 370 square foot last week and we moved out one, two, five. So we was two, four, five up. Um, the amount of insurance sold, crazy, massive is £29,000 worth of insurance sold. And that meant that it was an average of 14500 per moving. Can you believe it that people wasn't actually, the people who used to own this didn't actually offer insurance, which is crazy. The amount of movings due this week is 185 square, uh, 185 square foot for three movings. And we're due one move out for 85 square foot. So again, another positive week anticipated. Now, the reason I've left Will uh, Beverly to last is because the conversion rate is shocking here. However, Katie actually made a really, really good point as I'm trying to find Beverly. Beverly Weekly Figures. I know you've been here because I've seen them this morning. Here they are. Yeah, so here it says we've only, we have 15 quotes and one reservation. And so on the face of it, that is only a 7% conversion rate. However, there's a caveat. And that caveat is that we had three other people book at Willoughby because they're much smaller units, but we've got no small units available at Beverly. So therefore, they've gone to Willoughby and booked there, which means that the conversion rate really is 25%. So it's a lot, lot better. It's just that we didn't have the units available. Now, we've so we've had one reservation, no move-ins, um, and we've had 480 square foot. That was one customer. One customer, I think, had three containers or something like that and moved out. And it's just like, we knew it was coming, but it's a killer. When you've got one customer who has so much square foot, it's great when they move in, but it's dreadful when they move out. Um, and that's that's why we're very, very lucky in this industry that we're not relying on any one customer. There's no customer that makes up over 1% of my revenue, nowhere near. And same for you guys as well, which is really, really good. So we're not relying on any one customer. If any customer moves out, it's not too much of a problem. I know companies in masterminds that 50% of their turnover, 50% of their revenue is from one customer. I mean, if that's the case, you would be literally licking the boots of that customer to make, customer to make sure that they're okay and they don't leave and they're happy. And, and if they do leave, oh, you're in trouble. Right. So yeah. So luckily we, we're not in that position, but even when this happens, 480 square foot, it's, it's a chunk. It's a big chunk, even though we're not reliant on any one customer. This is a this is the biggest chunk that we nobody else takes, and across the whole of the units uh, facilities, nobody takes four hundred eighty square foot. This was our one biggest single customer, and he moved out. So never mind. So occupancy is eighty five percent. We've got three move-ins due this week for two hundred eighty five square foot and one move out. So again, it should be a positive week. Famous last words. I actually spit them. <laughs> if you're watching the video, I am really really sorry. Uh, famous last words, it should be a positive square foot week across all four sites. All four sites, positive square foot. We will see. Or my friend, oh, no, 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 no. I've got something else as well. Let's go to Mr. Self Storage. Let's have a look. Uh, overview for this week's, yeah, the analytics. Oh, by the way, how much did we take? We took 20, £28,727 across all four sites. 2,260 at Wrexham, 6,067 at Clough Road, 3,454 at Beverly, and 16,944 at Willoughby. Um, that's how much we took last week. Uh, we did three reservations online, so three people booked online. Out of our 26 reservations, that's a conversion rate of 4%, is it? No, no, it's not. Sorry, it's 12%. 4%. Jesus. Uh, and Jack was the leading reservation getter last week with eight. Angela had three. She was off. Katie had, well, off 
five days, I think it was. Katie had six, James had six, Angela, uh, Jack had eight, and online was three. We had, let's have a look at analytics. So Google Analytics. So this is how many people came to visit our website. 533 people came to visit our website, our store more. We had 25 reservations because one was Beverly and it's a different website. And that means that we had a 5% conversion rate, which is bloody brilliant. So 5% of people who came to our website actually reserved, which is awesome. All right, my friends, I will speak to you on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll speak to you next. All right, I love you. I appreciate it. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.